This next story showcases a group of volunteers who call themselves Line of Hope reaching out to the homeless. They serve free meals on the street in Edmonton's inner city. Organizers Pat Brenner and Elaine Wiley have been serving food every Wednesday night for the last five years. However, a few years ago, Pat and Elaine were struggling to keep the group going until they met Park Ash Chibber, owner of the Indian Fusion Curry House. Park Ash joined the Line of Hope and has been deeply involved ever since. Alex Smythe met up with Pat, Elaine and Park Ash at the restaurant to learn more about what they do and to lend a hand. How many people do you expect? Usually 150. Okay. Um, they're going to be super hungry. My name is Elaine Wiley and Pat started the Wednesday night and I came on board after just a couple of weeks after her. And it grew and the people that we needed to feed grew and grew and grew. So, and I've got a big, huge box of blankets because, I mean, there's still a lot of those guys that sleep on the streets. We do this in Edmonton's inner city, in the downtown core, which is where we found the most homeless are located. The weather the way it is tonight, rainy and windy, and the guys are going to be cold. I'm Patricia Benner. We serve on Wednesday nights outside of the Hope Mission. They have what they call the bed line, the homeless lineup. We did it for three or four years and we were really beginning to flounder. We were running out of money and energy and everything else because we're both seniors. I got a text from one of my friends and he said, you should go and see Parkash Chibber at Indian Fusion Curry House. He feeds the homeless outside his door. Abhishek, get me two, three samosas. Three orders of samosas. In 1992, I was hit by a car. Almost for two, two and a half years, I couldn't work. A lot of people, they helped me back up in India. So somehow I had to give it back to... So since now I'm in Canada, and I see a lot of homeless people around, and three years ago, I started asking them if they want to have some food. I started serving 15, 20 people a month. And then two years ago, I, I put up a poster on my back door. My poster says, dear friends, if you're hungry and have no money in your pocket, please knock on the door to get a free meal box, coffee, any time of the day. We have approximately 40, 50, 60 people every single day. Thank you. God bless. I used to do the majority of the cooking. Now Parkash, bless his heart, has taken over. Govindji. Put, put some two garlic nuts there for packing up. And who's, who's cooking for Hope Mission? Each week, Elaine reaches out to the Facebook group to coordinate what the volunteers will bring. She knows she can always count on Parkash to bring a hot meal and rice. Nowadays, it's winter is starting, so we have to put up our buffet at 6 o'clock. So we start cooking around 3.30, so the van has to leave from here 5.45 or 6 o'clock. Today's meal is going to be butter chicken rice with some vegetables. Somebody's bringing hot, hot dog, somebody's bringing cake, somebody's bringing water. And because it is cold now, we'll be serving some hot chocolate as well. The Line of Hope volunteers meet up at the Hope Mission ready with their meals. They set up tables, cutlery, and serve the food until they run out. Don't worry, it's very good. Take, take some more. OK. Thank you. Parkash is continuing the mission even larger than it was before and it's it, sometimes it makes me want to cry because those people need it so much. You can always come back when we have more stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Here's a man who lives to give and we are endlessly grateful for what he's done for our group. I, without him, I'm not sure that we would still exist. The Line of Hope serves around 150 people every Wednesday night. I've seen what not having food, what does it mean? I have experienced it in my life as well. Uh, you feel so happy if you do something for somebody else. Um, I would say, end of the day, I'm doing it for myself. Yes, my friend. You're welcome. We made their lives better, even if it was only for a couple hours, one night a week. And I guess you can't argue with that. That was truly inspiring, and the fact that the free meal serve has grown close to 2,000 each month highlights their commitment. Parkash says that they're always looking for more people to come help out with the Line of Hope. And although the group politely declines monetary donations with winter upon us, they are definitely accepting donations of winter clothing, such as hats, gloves, and warm coats, as well as non-perishable food items and insulated cups and mugs.